The Protean i12 Reporter is a free, web-based application that enables the creation of protocols and the display of run data files on a remote computer. It can be used to display the electronic run profiles for each lane, compare data from different runs, and generate and print reports. To upload data.dat files to the Protean i12 Reporter, first, load them onto the flash drive from the Protean i12 cell. Then, upload them into the application. See Section 522 of the manual, Copying Files, for instructions on how to copy run data files to a USB flash drive. Transfer the USB flash drive to a computer, then go to www.i12reporter.com to launch the Protean i12 Reporter application. On the Protean i12 Reporter homepage, under Upload Your Run Data, click Browse and navigate to the run data files you would like to import, then click Open. Repeat the process for all the files you would like to upload. Up to six different files can be uploaded at once. When you are finished selecting them, click the Upload button. The Run Details screen opens. The data appear under tabs across the top of the page. If multiple data files are uploaded, the Compare Lanes tab also appears. Clicking on the tabs shows you the data for the runs you have uploaded. Under the tabs, your data are now displayed in different formats. There are three graph options you can select. Voltage versus Time, Current versus Time, and Current Voltage versus Time. You can click the boxes at the top of the graph to select or deselect certain lanes. Clicking Select All will select all lanes in a run. Unclicking Select All will deselect all lanes. You can change the color of the lanes by selecting Set Lane Color. Choose the lane whose color you would like to change, select the color, and click Apply. Click the Show Protocol box to display the protocol that was programmed for that lane. The protocol is shown as a dotted line the same color as the lane. Click on Protocols to view all the protocols that were programmed for that run. Click on Run Data to see the raw current and voltage data from the run. Click on Events to see if the run was paused and when it ended. Click on Create Report to customize your report. You can choose to use the BioRAD logo, upload your own logo, or use no logo at all. You can add a username. You can choose to add an affiliation and copyright. You can select which report elements you would like to see. Run data with events log summary, protocols sample and strip details, and graphs. Once you have decided what you want to include in your report, click on Print Report or Save Report. This is an example of what your report will look like. To compare data from multiple experiments, click the Compare Lanes tab. Choose the run and select the lanes you would like to compare. Click the plus button in the center to add the chosen lanes to the comparison. Repeat the process by selecting the next run from the pull-down menu and selecting the lanes. When you are satisfied with the lane choices, click the Compare Lanes button. You will have the option of viewing the voltage versus time, current versus time, and voltage current versus time graphs, or creating a report. You can hide the legend by clicking the Hide Legend box. At the bottom of the screen is a button to select different lanes if you choose. Return to the home screen to view BioRAD protocols. All of the protocols for all of the ReadyStrip IPG strip lengths and pH gradients are listed. These are the same BioRAD protocols as are programmed into the Protean i12 instrument. 
Select a protocol if you would like to print it or edit it. You can edit the protocol by clicking the Edit Protocol button and changing the values in the boxes under Voltage, Gradient, Current, and Time. You can save the file, load it to a flash drive, and import it back to the instrument for use. The image at the right shows the graph of the protocol. If you would like to create a new protocol, return to the home screen. New values can be added for voltage, gradient, current, and time. Steps can be added above or below, or deleted. Notice that when new steps are added, the graph of the protocol on the right changes. One of the options under Gradient is Hold. Programming a hold step allows proteins to remain focused until the IPG strips are removed from the instrument. The hold step is always the last step in a protocol. No steps can be programmed after a hold step. Again, you can save the new protocol on a flash drive and transfer it to the Protean I-12 IEF cell for use. Return to the home screen for other resources. Get Help lists the contact number for BioRad technical support, FAQs, and instructions for using the Protean I-12 Reporter web application. If you have any questions or comments, please fill in our feedback form. Related items are also listed. Clicking on them will take you directly to the BioRad website. Thank you for watching the Protean I-12 Reporter web application tutorial video. Once you've given it a try, we encourage you to let us know what you think.